Hello, my name is Yonis Dizoglu and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove duplicate values from an Excel document quickly. Now, often people ask me, how do I remove duplicate records? So in this Excel document I've kept things uh, simple, so, so let's pretend that uh, the staff uh, in 2012 were uh, these 12 people and the staff in 2013 uh, still ha is the same, same amount of people. Now, however, this data and this data is different. I want to find out which values, which members of staff have left the company and, or the department and which members of staff actually replace them. Now because it's only 12 people I will be able to actually, if, you, if I study this a bit, I will be able to track it. But imagine if this is, uh, this is under thousands of uh, members of staff or maybe the members of staff were customers how do you check easily and quickly the duplicate records? Because if you keep the duplicate records into your spreadsheet, into your Excel document, this means that it's going to take forever for this Excel document to load, as well as if, uh, if you would like to actually se send this Excel document by email, the process will be really painful. Now, let's select all the data by clicking on the top left corner. Then from the Home tab, select Conditional Formatting. Then select Highlight Cells Rules. And then select Duplicate Values. Then select the, instead of Duplicated, select Unique. Click OK. Now straight away we'll be able to see that these data and these cells are unique. Yeah, that's fine. Are my titles. But as well as these uh, cells, we'll be able to see the cells with the actual names so I can see now that David has left he's no longer here in 2013 so I'm going to select David's cell and change the background color to red and then Jordan's as well change the background color to red and here we'll be able to see that these members of staff are the new two new members of staff so I'm going to just highlight them both and click uh, the background to let's change it to green so these are the two new members of staff. Now I have made my selection and I know which ones uh, the members of staff that has, have left and the new members of staff. I will be able to now select all the cells, go to conditional formatting tab, select clear rules and then click once on the clear rules from selected cells. Now we'll be able to see the members of staff that have left and the members of staff that actually join the team. Hope this tutorial you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, please feel free to uh, give some comments, and uh, if you need further instructions, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for watching.